1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 15 says this, Samuel lay until morning, and then he opened the doors to the house of the Lord. So here's young Samuel, perhaps performing his normal duties, but today is different. And it's almost as if the author wants us to see the dawning of a new day in Israel, and I think he does. This is the restoration of the word of God among Israel here before us. But it's not all sunshine just yet. We see here in this next section the task of the prophet. Eli calls Samuel, and Samuel responds with his customary answer. And Eli demands that Samuel tell him all that God had told Samuel the night before. And this is the prophet's concern. This is his task, his responsibility to speak the whole counsel of God, to hold nothing back, to make it clear to those to whom it is to be delivered. And you know, a lot of times that can be an exciting and happy task. When you have a person or you have an audience who has never heard the gospel before or a group of people who are ready to hear the word of God, it's a happy and life-giving task. But there are times when it's painful. I wouldn't imagine that Samuel was particularly excited about his job that morning. Eli had been good to Samuel. Samuel had grown under Eli. But now Samuel had to tell him that God was going to end his priesthood and punish not just Eli, but Eli's legacy. The job of speaking the words of God is not always a happy task. Sometimes it's heart-wrenching. And I don't tell you this so that you can feel sorry for me as a pastor or so that you can feel sorry for your pastor. But you do need to know and you need to understand that when the man of God stands in front of the church of God and speaks the word of God, and it's a hard word to hear, you need to understand that at least it's because your pastor loves the truth more than he loves good feelings and big crowds and that his fear of God is greater than the fear of man. We do this because we want you to know the truth of God's Word and His care for you and the grace that comes to you from His truth. If we didn't love you or the truth, we wouldn't do this. When you pray today, please remember Christian Martinez and his family, our missionaries in Romania. And also remember the Kasubi Life Word broadcast that's heard in Tanzania, Niger, and Congo.